feeling well hello there my lemon drops and welcome back to the lemonade stand or welcome if you are new my name is brianna and i feel like i look like a news reporter i'm a certified personal trainer a big huge biology nerd and a registered dietitian to be we are gathered here today to talk about a little something recent rumblings Oh, uh, hello. Alpha, do you have anything to say? No? Okay. Recent rumblings from the multi-level marketing world have fallen across my desk, which involve the multi-level marketing company Young Living in the United States Food and Drug Administration. Trouble is brewing. Or should I say, essential oil is brewing. Before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lols and some dry sarcasm along the way, hit that subscribe button and join the lemonade stand. I would seriously love to have you here. Without anything further, Let's make lemonade. So Young Living is a multi-level marketing company and they distribute essential oils, essential oil containing products, and even beauty products. Some of these products include, but are not limited to essential oils, essential oil infused dietary supplements, food products like waffle mix and dry pasta, and home cleaning products. However, despite all of that, Young Living is probably best known for uh, their essential oil products. We've all probably been exposed to essential oils in some capacity at some point in our lives. Really, in my opinion anyway, essential oils oils are not a problem. In fact, most of us really like them. Maybe you diffuse them because they smell good. Maybe you use them as part of cleaning sometimes. Pro tip, to keep your mini bathroom trash can from getting like too terribly funky, soak a couple cotton balls in the essential oil of your choice. I have personally used lemon oil before and I've also used tea tree oil. And then just throw them in the bottom of the trash can because their essential oils are so strong and pungent. It helps keep the bathroom smell under control and helps get the bathroom from smelling too funky. So there's an example of how I've used essential oils before. I look like a freaking reporter in this jacket right now. What was I thinking when I put this on? This jacket is uh, from Beyond Yoga. Anyway, I think we can all agree that using essential oils in that regard is relatively innocuous. We're not eating them. We're not slathering our kids in them. We're not putting drops of them in our dog's eyeballs. We're not going around claiming they can cure or treat disease. And generally, I think that as long as we stay out of that category, essential oils are pretty great, honestly. I don't mind them. The problem, however, is that a lot of consultants in Young Living do not stay out of that category. They camp out there, they live there, their children go to school there, they even have investment properties there. And because so many Young Living consultants live in this territory of uh, believing and preaching that essential oils do more beyond just smell good, such as treat and cure certain diseases or ailments, they have been caught by their pants down by the United States Food and Drug Administration, AKA the FDA, making all kinds of unproven health claims and even recommending that people do unsafe things with essential oils. So recently, and I do mean recently, on June 10th, 2022, the Food and Drug Administration sent Mary D. Young, current CEO and co-founder of Young Living, this warning letter. It was addressed directly to Mary Young and it was sent from the Office of Human and Animal Food Operations West Division 4. So official sounding. A warning letter from me would say something like uh, Office of Queen Lemon from the division of lemons. So I have read this letter in its entirety. However, we're not going to because I'm not gonna just sit here and just read this to you. It's posted publicly to the FDA.gov website and I will link it below so that you can go and read it if you want to. I will, however, pick out some highlights and read certain excerpts, which I feel important to support the discussion here today. In summary, this letter is warning the multi-level marketing company Young Living about the language surrounding certain essential oil products on their social media platforms, including the Young Living website and even the the problematic language of some of their consultants in terms of them saying that Young Living products can cure or treat certain ailments for which there is no scientific evidence to support it. The FDA's letter even goes as far as to name the specific social media accounts, including Instagram accounts of the distributors that they have caught misbehaving. An excerpt from the introduction of this letter reads, Dear Mrs. Young, this letter is to advise you that the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, reviewed your website and social media accounts, Instagram and Facebook, for several Young Living Consultants in May 2022 and has determined that your Young Living Consultants market many of your products, including but not limited to frankincense essential oil, lemon essential oil, lavender essential oil, de, de guys essential oil, and I haven't heard of that one. Thieves Essential Oil Blend, Here and After Essential Oil Products, Lemongrass Vitality, Peppermint Vitality, Here and After Vitality Products, Ningxia 
here and after Ningxia products. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that word. I had to research that. <laughs> I can never ever say that word right. Nature's Ultra CBD Beauty Boost, Nature's Ultra CBD Muscle Rub, Nature's Ultra CBD Pep Bundle, Nature's Ultra Calm CBD Roll-On, Nature's Ultra Cinnamon CBD Oil, Nature's Ultra Citrus CBD Oil, and Nature's Ultra Cool Mint CBD Oil here and after Nature's ultra CBD products, and that you take orders for these products from your website at the internet address, www.youngliving.com and naturesultra.com. Later in their introduction, they go on to name the actual social media accounts of certain Young Living consultants, including naming their personal blogs and even their Facebook pages. Now, even though their social media handles are listed in this letter clear as day, I will not be showing them or naming them here in this video. That's because I visited some of their accounts and I don't know that all of them could be considered public figures, um, like for legal purposes. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and just not show show their handles at all. But if you visit the link below to look at this letter on FDA.gov, you can see their names in, in uh, social media handles listed right there in the letter. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. I just want that on the record. So in addition to this, they also name the specific Young Living products for which the inappropriate health claims have been made. They say in the letter, your essential oil, Vitality, Ningxia, and Nature's Ultra CBD products are drugs under section 201G1B of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, the Act, 21 U.S.C. 321 G1B, the, 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 bibbity bobbity boo because they are intended for use in the cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease. The intended use of a product that may be determined by, among other things, its labeling, advertising, and the circumstances surrounding its distribution, 21 CFR 201.2. 128, as explained further below, these products are also unapproved new drugs and misbranded drugs. Introducing or delivering these products for introduction into interstate commerce violates the act. You can find the act through links on FDA's homepage at, and then they drop their link. Examples of claims found on your website, as well as your Young Living Consultant social media account postings that provide evidence of the intended uses of your products, as defined by 21 CFR 201. 0.128, I think I'm gonna stop reading out those codes, it's annoying. <laughs> As drugs include, but may not be limited to the following, essential oil products on the website, consultantswebsite.com, under, they put her actual website, but I have redacted it, under the essential oil category, 20 uses for frankincense oil. Number 16, may ease symptoms of discomfort for a urinary tract infection. Number 17, may ease symptoms of discomfort for from a yeast infection. Number 19, great to use dot 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 for a homemade sunscreen. Fun fact, I went to that consultant's website to find this blog post and this post is nowhere to be found. So I am under the assumption that Young Living hit her up and had to lay her out and told her to take it down because the FDA was all up in their asses. Here's another example that the FDA cited. On the social media account, instagram.com slash redacted, they even put the consultant's ID number there too. I don't know how they figured that out. Royal Crown Diamond member. <laughs> this tickled me something fierce. The fact that they put like the title of her rank like in this official document. I don't know why that's so funny to me. May 24, 2020. Phenylpropanoids. The phenylpropanoids and phenols and essential oils dot 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 attack invading microbes and parasites dot 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 found in clove peppermint vitality fennel basil and wintergreen october 9th 2019 dot 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 my friend dot 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 added me to a product education group where i learned that taking lemon essential oil lavender essential oil and peppermint vitality could help with allergy symptoms like post nasal drip, sneezing and itchy eyes. I use those oils to help with my allergies. Here's another one that the FDA cited. This one is under the category of the vitality oils. On the social media account, instagram.com slash name redacted. July 28, 2020. Image of lemongrass vitality. Lemongrass poses a very strong argument for being the go-to when you find yourself not feeling well, battling inflammation, infection, stomach upset, stuffy sinuses, high body temps, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. If it's stomach upset, bladder discomfort, cholesterol, or blood pressure that we are looking to improve, we ingest. 
There's another one that the FDA cited, and this one is directly from Young Living's website. Uh, this one is in regard to their Nature's Ultra CBD products. On your website, youngliving.com, CBD Muscle Rub features and benefits, soothes sore muscles, soothes occasional tension, Suggested uses, apply topically to soothe sore muscle, apply to neck and shoulders to soothe occasional tension. About, CBD muscle rub combines CBD, menthol, and a selection of Young Living premium essential oils such as camphor, clove, lemon, peppermint, tea tree, wintergreen, and more. The result is a powerful bomb that offers a cooling sensation and soothes sore muscles in seconds. They cited several more examples from consultants website and, and from Young Living's website, uh, but I didn't include them. But again, you can go and read them for yourself if you visit the link below. So after listing all of these examples, the FDA then went on to cite why Young Living done messed up. The largest issue being probably that these products are marketed as though they are drugs, which would make them unapproved drugs because the claims have yet to be proven. The issue of the products being misbranded and the issue of their CBD containing products. Here are some bits from each of those headings. Under the unapproved drugs heading, it reads, based on the above claims, your essential oil, Vitality, Ningxia, and Nature's Ultra CBD products are drugs. We are not aware of any adequate and well-controlled clinical studies in the published literature that support a determination that any of these products are generally recognized as safe and effective grace for use under the conditions prescribed, recommended, or suggested in their labeling. Accordingly, your essential oil vitality, Ningxia, and Nature's Ultra CBD products are, quote, new drugs, end quote, under Section 201P of the Act. With certain exceptions not applicable here, new drugs may not be introduced or delivered for introduction into interstate commerce without an approved application from FDA in effect as described in sections 301D and 505A of the Act. FDA approves a new drug based on scientific data and information demonstrating that the drug is safe and effective. No FDA approved application is in effect for any of these essential oil, vitality, Ningxia, or nature's ultra CBD products. Accordingly, these these products are unapproved new drugs marketed in violation of sections 505A and 301D of the Act. Under the heading titled Misbranded Drugs, your essential oil, Vitality, Ningxia, and Nature CBD products are also misbranded within the meaning of section 502 F1 of the Act. A drug is misbranded under section 502 F1 if the drug's labeling fails to bear adequate directions for its intended uses. Adequate directions for use means under directions which a lay person can use a drug safely and for the purposes for which it is intended. They go on to say under this heading, consequently, your essential oil, Vitality, Ningxia, and Nature's Ultra CBD products are misbranded drugs under section 502 F1 one of the FDNC Act, the introduction or delivery for introduction into interstate commerce of misbranded drugs violates sections 301A of the Act. Lastly, an excerpt under the heading titled CBD containing drugs says, even if your nature's ultra CBD products were considered non-prescription drugs, we note that a non-prescription drug containing CBD cannot be legally marketed without an approved new drug application, regardless of whether the CBD is represented on the labeling as an active ingredient or an inactive ingredient. To date, no CBD containing drug has met applicable FDA requirements to be legally marketed for non-prescription use. Finally, under the last heading where they conclude, this letter is not intended to be an all-inclusive statement of violations that may exist in connection with your products. You are responsible for investigating and determining the causes of any violations and for preventing their recurrence or the occurrence of other violations. It is your responsibility to ensure your firm complies with all requirements of federal law including FDA regulations. This letter notifies you of our concerns and provides you an opportunity to address them. Failure to adequately address this letter may result in legal action, including without limitation, seizure and injunction. They also added this one last bit about a consultant that they mentioned above. On the blog post published by this consultant uh, titled 20 Uses for Frankincense Oil, remember the one that's not on the internet anymore? Number 15 states, for new moms, apply one drop of frankincense oil to the umbilical cord stump 
on your newborn until it falls off. Please be aware that applying non-sterile, non-antimicrobial products topically to an umbilical cord may cause infection. Oh, good night. Within the final paragraph, they say, please notify FDA in writing within 15 working days of receipt of this letter of the specific steps that you have taken to address any violations, including an explanation of each step being taken to prevent the recurrence of violations, as well as copies of related documentation. Now, as well as sending this letter to Mary Young, they also CC'd the consultants as well, which I was not expecting, but I saw that and I was like, oh. You get them, FDA. <laughs> so that was the letter. I mean, obviously not all of it. I just read excerpts from it. It's a warning letter to the company Young Living from the United States Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, because them and some of their consultants are out here showing their behinds, making all kinds of unproven health claims and whatnot about their essential oils and other products by Young Living. This instance is small, and quite frankly, it probably won't be the downfall of Young Living, but it's something and is exactly why I do what I do with my content. Also keep in mind is this is not just a Young Living MLM issue. This is not just an MLM issue. This is an issue among the entire health and wellness space. When we see health gurus in social media say things like, oh, don't listen to your doctor, buy my magic potion instead, it will fix you. That is a huge problem. It's a public health issue. First of all, like 99% of the time, these people are not healthcare or science professionals in any way, shape or form. And second, they have stake in you buying in what they are selling. The Young Living Consultant telling you to use essential oils on your newborn infant's umbilical cord wants you to buy your essential oils from their website. The hormone coach that's telling you that your hormones are messed up and they can fix you, but only if you buy their program. The fitness influencer that's telling you that all supplements are bad and terrible quality, except theirs. So you should buy theirs using their discount code instead. Now, I am not mad at people working for a... Now, I... Shush! Mommy is creating! Now, I am not mad at people working for a genuine hustle. Uh, hello, ma'am. Are you done? Okay. Now, I'm not mad at people working toward a genuine hustle. Most of us do it in some capacity every single day. But I just can't imagine telling someone to forego professional advice, especially if it's professional medical advice, and use my product instead. I, and like most of you watching this, just have way too much integrity for that. This is another reason why reporting this stuff is so important. Even if it doesn't seem like anything is happening, it still probably is. You can't just say that a product you're selling will fix X, Y, and Z if, there, if it's unproven that it will. It's dangerous and it's misleading. And the other unfortunate thing is that there are a lot of vulnerable people out there who are desperate for a solution to their problem and they will believe anything you say, especially when they feel that the healthcare system has failed them and isn't helping them. Those are the people that I wanna make my content for. And for the people who aren't sure about something that their nurse or their doctor recommended and they're thinking about using essential oils instead. For the people who wanna lose weight but don't know how and they see every goddamn influence are telling them that they need to do intermittent fasting, they need to take this supplement, they need to do keto. You are the people who I make content for. And also really, this is just my dog's channel too. So let's be real about that. I just hate seeing people being led astray and worse, taken advantage of for bullshit like this, quite frankly. Again, I'm, at, I'm glad the FDA sent this letter. I can't say it's like a big, huge victory, but it's something. And something is better than nothing. Two Oreos are better than one Oreo. And on that note, I think it's time to end this video. I need to go hunt for fudge covered Oreos. The Target that I normally shop at has been out of them for a disturbing amount of time and I'm experiencing a serious withdrawal. Thank you very, very much for making it to this point. If you have, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit the like button? If you hated it, you can also hit the uh, dislike button. That helps the analytics too. If you enjoyed me, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, join the lemonade stand. We're great here. I don't always look like a news reporter. That's the vibe I guess I was just channeling today. So, you know, what do you want me to do? Thank you so very much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Alpha, do you have something that you need to say? Do you have something to say? You were being quite vocal before. Is there anything that you'd like to add? What? Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes. What else? What else, baby? I know. Jesus. Alpha, is there anything else you'd like? Okay. And what else? More. I know. Okay. Now she's just gonna play bite face with her brother. All right. Why don't you say? Okay. Alpha. I'm this way. I'm over here.
All right, this is how it always ends up. Him just kissing her, licking her face and whatnot. She loves it, look at her. Ma'am, Alpha, is there anything you'd like to add? Okay, thank you.